spacious apartment, a big one. Me think you doth protest too much. Please provide us with complete file for the visit, please. That winky face does not fill me with confidence. Single bed with a large bed and a large window. Dress that up however you like. You are renting a glorified dog bed. Bonjour, and bonnez-vous to... Crap flat bingo. The premise is simple. I've gone out of my way to find the worst rentals you can get in a specific city, and I'm checking them off against the top estate agent cliches. If you want to play along, you can get your bingo card in the description below. I promise I'll stop doing the accent. This week, we're in Paris. No, not like that. Home to the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, the Arc de Triomphe, and for the right price, you. Flat one, 750 euros per month. Located in Paris, good start. This room has plenty of quirky seating. By quirky, do you mean none of it matches? A lie in the description. Fresh sheets will be provided. And by fresh, do you mean straight out of the pack? Wait. What happened to the last bed sheets that meant these had to be replaced quickly? A murder probably took place here. Flat two, 830 euros per month. Fully fitted kitchen with everything you could possibly need, including a shower by the looks of it. Portrait photos. Do you mind? I'm cooking. Go and wait for your food somewhere else. And while you're waiting, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to join my subreddit, link below. It's small right now, but it is growing. A lie in the description. Portrait photos. The mezzanine floor has a generous bed. That's not a fucking mezzanine. I'll say it now, this flat actually looks quite nice and newly furnished. I'm just calling BS on the advert and description. Flat three, 900 euros per month. Charming studio apartment. In the same way Gaston was classed as charming in the 90s. Overpriced. Portrait photos. Yeah, I know it's landscape, but it still counts. A walk-in wardrobe. Where? You're being a real tease with it. A lie in the description. The flat comes unfurnished, all you'll get is a single bed and a side table. Barely. A murder probably took place here. Communal kitchen. This actually took me a second to work out. So take a note of where the single bed is in this photo. And now note where it is in this photo. Fire hazard. Wait, but it gets better. Your bedroom isn't just in the communal kitchen. Common refurbished toilet and shower area. You're basically renting a studio flat with no privacy. Imagine if Facebook did rentals. Overpriced. Not cleaned before the photos were taken. Amazing view of Paris. Often not to be missed. Ah, the famous tree of Paris. And so close to your bedroom. Flat four. 650 euros per month. Studio apartment with plush recently renovated kitchen. Plush? Maybe plush means something different in French. Nope. Just means bullshit. Not being cleaned before the photos were taken. A lie in the description. Bed can be found on the mezzanine floor. Not a mezzanine, my friend. Come on, France, you invented that word. How can you not know what it means? Child's bunk bed. Luxury en suite for the lucky renter. Portrait photos. Fire hazard. Flat five, 800 euros per month. Tropical theme room for rent. Just minute from Paris. A minute from Paris? I'd say that's Paris. Wouldn't you? Privacy is assured, but there is no lock on the door. By door, do you mean that bamboo room divider? 